All right. Imagine not only being a new hire, but meeting a new employee. And ultimately, that changes your entire life. What do I mean? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so let's dial this back to 2014. Okay, my, me and my wife, you know, we're at a base here in California and she gets a job over in South Korea. Well, at the time, my position was a term and my term would come up, so I, for lack of better words, I was unemployed. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna say no, so we pack up. At the time, I only had one child, so we packed up our son and we left, went to South Korea. Um, I wasn't there that long and I got a position on one of the bases as a management assistant slash uh, mailroom attendant. Basically, I was the manager's gopher and I made sure everyone got their mail, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> but instantly, I made friends with another uh, new employee. I'm not gonna say his name, not gonna give him the credit, but his YouTube channel is linked, uh, but <laughs> is linked down in the description down below. So um, we, we hit it off, you know, and uh, during our break time, whenever the hell we, we had our break, cause there was no real scheduled break. And while, you know, he was smoking, I would be vaping. And no, I don't vape anymore. Um, and I would ask him, hey, so what is it that you do exactly? Because at the time, not only did I not know what a motherboard case, I didn't know nothing about computers. I didn't know what a help desk was. So he would explain it. You know, days would go by. I would keep asking, hey, what you do today? What's this? What's that? And as he explained his job, he would have to explain in depth, like what it was that he actually did. Um, it got to a point to where he was kind of getting frustrated. And he's like, dude, if you're so interested in my job, pick up a book and learn or stop asking me. Um, Cause I could tell, you know, at that time he was getting kind of frustrated with constantly having to explain what it was, what he did. So I took it to heart. Now, keep in mind the job I had, um, I only really had to work maybe two hours a day, two and a half on a slow day. Uh, the rest of the time, you know, I kind of had it to myself. So I had to figure out what I was going to do with my life, so to speak. Um, before that, I was just doing rent. I was watching uh, educational videos, you know, just kind of going all over the place. But once he said that, that kind of, kind of, you know, set something off my head. And I asked him, you know, who should I, what, what should I do? How should I study? And he pointed me into a direction and said, hey, Professor Master, boom, go. It's free. All right, cool. So I started watching it. And then um, I started understanding, started learning. And then I was like, okay, so how do I, how do I proceed in this? How do I make, how do I, what do I do with this knowledge? He's like, dude, get your certificates. And then I asked him which one. He said, oh, security. If you want to do what I'm doing, you need your security plus. I was like, okay, I'll go for that one. Little did I know that was a dumb move, <laughs> but that's a whole nother video. Um, so I'm studying, you know, and then I'm telling him, hey, how do I know when I'm ready for these tests? And he's like, dude, just go take the cert. Just, just go take the test. Mainly because that'll, so to speak, pop your cherry, you know, and you'll know what to expect on these um, exams because CompTIA exams are a whole ball of wax. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll go take it. Knowing I wasn't ready for it, knowing I was not ready for it, I took the test. Let's just say Hiroshima was less of an explosion <laughs> than I did on that test. I bombed that test so badly, it was, it was real bad. And I went back to him and told him like, dude, I, I bombed it. He, he got a laugh off, trust me, he got his little kicks off on it. Um, but he's like, hey, at least now you know what to expect. So I was like, all right. So for the better half of, I'm gonna say it took like 10 months, I was, I was nonstop studying, studying, studying. I had my face glued into a computer studying. And although it did take me, I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a few times to get it. I finally got my cert. I got my uh, security plus. Then I asked him what's next? And he told me the next cert and I just carried on, carried on, carried on. Um, this whole time, you know, I'm asking him questions and then I want to build my own computer. So I asked, hey, what, what parts do I need to buy? What do I need to buy? And he's like, dude, figure it out. He, uh, his idea of support <laughs> was a little different, but it actually was beneficial in the long run. Cause I'd ask him like, hey, I have all these parts for the computer. Do I need anything else? And he would say, you know, GTS, GTS. That was his favorite saying, GTS. And I'm like, what the hell is GTS? Uh, Google that. Yes, I blanked it out, but you can kind of figure out what I said. This is a family show. Keep that in mind. <laughs> so um, that was kind of his thing. So this whole time I'm in uh, South Korea, South Korea, 
Um, I'm studying, you know, ask him questions, learning, asking my supervisor questions, just kind of learning the whole time. And um, I lucked out because my supervisor actually started helping me study. He uh, turned me turned me on to uh, CBT Nuggets, which just helped me, you know, push along and get my search even more. So then it comes time to where, you know, I have my cert and I want to apply for a job and I'm applying for these jobs. Nothing's nothing's landing. I am bombing these interviews because although I know A, B and C, somehow these guys are asking me D, E, N, D, E and F. And I'm telling him, he's like, dude, use that as experience practice. So I'm like, OK, so finally I look out and um, I apply for a position here in California and I, I guess I don't know, like the cards fell perfectly in line because every question that was asked of me in the interview, not only did I know the answer, but I knew variables of that question. So I was able to say, OK, well, are you meaning this? Are you meaning that? How are, what do you, what is your um, what is the direction of your question you're asking? And it lucked out to where, you know, I actually got the job. Um, and then from there, my career went up. But that's a whole nother video that I do plan on sharing with you guys. Um, now, I do want to say, you know, I do breaking from this. I want to apologize uh, as far as why I haven't put out videos. Um, me and Tristan, you know, Tristan just got his computer back and I got um, a new position. So or not a new position, but new duties. So I've been studying for those, but we do promise to put out more videos for you guys really soon. So just be prepared for that. All right, back to it. Sorry about that. I had to get that little disclaimer out because a couple of you guys all same me up saying, hey, where's your videos? Why aren't you putting videos out? Well, that's why. Um, but yeah, so the moral of the story and the reason why, you know, I'm putting this out and I'm rambling as I usually do on videos is it's amazing how randomly you can meet one person, not only become friends with them, but they ultimately change your career or give you a career, which in turn changes your life. So with that being said, you know, that's kind of how I fell into IT. Part dumb luck, part perseverance, part not giving up. Because I'm telling you right now, there's so many times where learning this stuff, getting my certs, I was like, I wanted to like rip my hair out. If I had hair. Um, <laughs> But it was difficult. It was trying. And overall, you know, I wouldn't change it for the world. So just remember, guys, you know, you never know. You might meet that one person who becomes a friend and ultimately opens up a whole new world to you. So that's how I got into IT, guys. So, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment below. Other than that, you know the spiel, you know what to do. And again, like I said, we will be putting out more content, more videos. Um, thanks for tuning in. Later.